in terms of hurdles, there probably have been many. Uh, I don't know which one you want me to start with oh, first. As um, a young person. Well, as a young person, it was probably the first one was adjusting to coming from one state to another. Um, when my grandmother passed away, we were in Louisiana and I had to move to Detroit. And Detroit was totally different from the way Louisiana had been. You know, I didn't have the family background that uh, we had had before. My grandmother's brothers and sisters, they were not uh, with me. And uh, it was um, a difficult, it was a lot of adjustments to be made. You know, um, the other thing is I had gone to Catholic school and surprisingly enough, uh, my mom had, uh, was divorced and as a re and remarried and it was as a result of that uh, at that time they would not allow me to go to Catholic school because of the fact that she had remarried and uh, I think it's changed now and it's much different but at that time so it was different for me because I had all my life I had gone to Catholic school and they had given me an excellent, excellent education because when I was eight years old, I was really already in the sixth grade. And so therefore, it had to be an excellent education. I didn't think of it then because it was just natural for the flow. But uh, I'm grateful to my grandmother for doing that because every day we had to pass by, every school day, we passed by the colored school because at that time, we were called colors. Now, you know, we've been Negroes, we've been Blacks, we've been African Americans and, and so on. But um, at that time, we were colored. And so we went by the colored school every day to get to my school, which was the Catholic school. And I don't know how she made that decision or why she made that decision. But for me, education-wise, it was an excellent choice to make.